Hey guys, Oni here with episode 2 of our Factorial Let's Play. Last time we left off, we just finished automating the production of red science packs. We haven't made any sort of output for them yet. Uh, I finished the research for electronics and I'm starting the research for turrets. However, I ran out of the red science packs I made manually, so I picked up the lab and I'm going to move it over here in, in addition to the two extra labs I just made. But before that, I want to go ahead and make two more of these, I'm going to set up two more of these assemblers that are going to make red science packs as well. So you make red science packs, and you make red science packs, and then we'll extend each line of materials required. And we'll say, I'll put you back there, and we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, actually I need, oh, I needed two, but never hurts to have extra, so. Where are they at? Oh, of course, forgot. We'll say you grab the copper from the far line, and you do the same. And then you grab the gear wheels from the close line. Everything gets powered up. Now, I'll put the labs somewhere down here, out of the way. Like that. That looks good. Actually, you know what? I'll put them closer to the uh, red science packs. Makes sure I have to make less conveyor belts. Right there is okay for now. Nope, still not okay. We'll put them over here. Like this. And what we'll do is that we'll make a couple underground belts, more regular ones, and we'll make a line, this line right here, will be the output for our science packs and we'll do an underground line just to have me just to leave room for any sort of intersecting conveyor belts that might be there in the future. Okay, we'll say come down right in front of the lab and we'll make three regular inserters which already have one so we just need two more. The science packs in the lab and we'll make two more long-headed inserters to take the science packs out of the assemblers and put them on the far, whoops, wrong button. Like that. And then we'll power everything up with some more power lines. It's ugly, but it works. So now we have three labs going. Awesome. So, the next thing we want to do is once we finish turrets, we're going to want to set up some defenses so we don't uh, have the problem that we had before where we got, we got attacked by those biters and we kind of had to rush over there and defend ourselves before we got everything destroyed. So, we unlock turrets. Let's get armor because I'm afraid that they might come again soon. Let's make a couple turrets now that we can. We'll only make three. It's not good. It'll do. It'll. It'll be good enough for now, though. I also set up this simple uh, smelting station here for my stone that I was mining because you need you need uh, cooked stone or smelted stone to make walls. And armor's done already. So let's go for military one. All right, let's make some walls, and we'll put, for right now, I actually don't know where those biters came from, so to find out where they came from exactly, what I'll do is I built one radar station just for right now, because I don't want to waste all the power that I have currently. If you click on one of your power poles, you'll see a little uh, description of, of how your power network is currently doing. You see consumption, which is obviously how much you're consuming, your production, which is how much you're producing. And you always want your production bar to be less than your consumption. If your production bar matches your consumption, that means you, you need more power production. You're not, producing, you're not producing enough power to supply what you're currently consuming. And we'll get into the accumulator capacity later, later on once we unlock the accumulators. So, for right now, I built one radar station. And if I plop it down, I don't know. That's done. Let's see. Next, we want to get... 
Let's get optics so we can have some lights. Wait, it's not so dark at night. We'll put this right here, and you'll see sector scanning progress means that if you look on my map, you'll see a lot of it's dark. It's not revealed. Each time that sector scanning process completes a full bar, and it, it reveals a square on the map. Like this right here is a square, this little square here. That would, like, for example, that, that would be revealed. But that consumes a lot of power. As you can see, we're getting closer and closer to that limit I talked about a second ago. And you see that one radar station is consuming more power, or almost as much power, as my four assemblers. So, you need to make sure you have enough power to supply your radar station if you decide to make one. And as you see, I'm already at the point where I might run out of energy so far. So what I want to do is I want to make another steam engine, which requires more iron. So I need some more iron. Let's go grab some more of that. Optics is done. Let us research bullet damage for right now. Grab some iron out of this chest, and we will make another steam engine. Two more. I think my boiler should be enough to supply. I might have to make another one, though. We'll see. Just to be safe, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's make another one, just to be safe. A couple more. One more. Get rid of this, because it's in the way. Put that back there. We'll extend our coal line. We need five more inserters. Like that. Power them up. Put these down. Let's see how you guys do it now. All right. We're good. All right, now we're do now we're talking. All right, we got enough power now. So I need to make well. First of all, let's make a submachine gun because now that we researched military one, we can make that, and it takes the same bullets as pistols do. So why not put the bullets under the submachine gun? Press Q to change guns, and now we should be able to defend ourselves better than we could before. All right, so we want to find out where those biters came from, but we don't know exactly where they came from yet because our, our scanning progress is very slow because we only have one radar station. You can speed up the process by adding more stations, but at, like I said earlier, each station takes a lot of power. So in right, and right now, I don't feel comfortable putting down another one because I don't think I have enough power production to supply it without having to add more steam engines and reconfigure everything. So. Make one of the turrets, and we'll put the turrets, we'll put two turrets right here, and we'll put two turrets right here, because that's where they attacked before. Actually, can I put you up one? No, I can't. Then we'll make some bullets, because I need bullets, and obviously I need more iron plates. Let's go back and get some more iron plates. I mean, it, that five clips should be enough for the next attack, if they attack again pretty soon. So obviously, I want to keep some for myself. All right. And I, I keep forgetting that I can just control click that to make it go in automatically. Like if I came back down here and took this out, I can just control click like that. Control right click. Sorry if that's annoying. I'm getting used to it. Again, I'm not an expert at the game by any means, so forgive me. So, if you, if you noticed earlier, bullet damage 1 takes 50 science packs. If I come in here and I say bullet damage 1 takes 50 science packs, and each tick, each little uh, full bar of one unit of research takes 30 seconds. 
And granted, I added two more, which made everything else faster, which made it faster for research. But I want more. I want to go faster. So let's get two more. Let's get three more for right now. If I hold down F and run across this, I pick up all those. And again, we're running into a situation where we don't have enough iron. Yes, we have a little bit of surplus iron, which is what, where I got that little bit of iron I got there. But we're not, we don't have enough to where I can come up here and get as much as I need to do what I want to do. So, to solve that, we're going to, in addition to making two more labs to speed up research, we're going to also make three more stone furnaces because, as you can see, there's a huge backup backlog of iron ore that's not being smelted. So, to fix that, we will wait for this to finish, and we will also have to make more inserters and long inserters, so let's get some more iron if we can. Of course, I don't have enough iron to do the entire, the entirety of what I want to do, but we have enough to get started, so let's put three more. We'll do one, two, three, with three inserters going in the front for the raw iron ore. And then get some more iron if we can. Two more there. Give me that iron. And you going in the back for the coal. Give it some power. And now granted, we don't have enough iron to make the long-headed inserters that will output the iron. But these things can hold a buffer of 100 iron plates. So we should be good until we have enough iron to make those inserters. So, for right now, let's go put down our two extra labs we just made. I wanted to make three, but I don't have enough iron right now. We'll make a third one later on. We'll make two inserters. More power poles. Check our power. We're good on power. Hold down control, pick up the iron that's in here. Make three long handed inserters. Let's extend this line. And there we go. We now doubled our iron plate output. Now, well, time will tell if this can keep up, if our two miners can keep up with these extra furnaces, but I'm feeling that it can. If it can't, Simple solution, just add more miners. So, now we want to go ahead and let's set up some lamps because it's dark as hell and I'm tired of not being able to see what I'm doing at night. We'll do a lamp there, lamp there, a lamp there with power, and then a lamp here. Just for right now. Yeah, we'll make one more. We'll put another lamp right here next to the radar station. So if I look on the map now, press M, you see that already I've uncovered a line right here. Now you'll see once I uncover more, the biter bases are going to show up as red. But again, I do want to make more radar stations, but I want to make sure I have enough power to support them first. So I think I read online that the limit to how much a single water pump or offshore pump can supply as far as steam engines goes is 10. One water pump can supply 10 steam engines. So I have five so far, which means I have enough extra water to make five more, to make five more. Now, obviously, if you, you can tell already that if I were to just simply expand this down, it would run into this iron field, which I don't want to do that. I don't want to interrupt or disturb that iron field at all. It won't disturb the iron field. It just makes it difficult later on if I need to move from this top iron field to this bottom iron field. So, we have bullet damage one. Let's go ahead and research um, steel processing. That's a good bet. Let's go ahead. I see any more iron, obviously. Always out of iron. Go over here. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was fast. Jeez. Now you see that most of the rest of the research I can do requires, you know, aside from these damaged ones for shotguns and uh, whatnot, needs these green science packs. 
Now, Green Science Lab, or Green Science Packs, if you look at it, I can't really make those in this lab, because if I were to say don't make that, and I said make Science Lab 2, Science Pack 2, I need transport belts and inserters, which that would require, that requires that I set up a whole other line to make those. So for right now, I'm going to do that next, but for right now, I don't know if I have enough resources to do that. Especially now that, well, I, I might, I may. Let's go ahead and let's, let's try. Why not? Let's try. Let's actually make one more lab, and then we'll make a couple of assembly, machine, assembly machines. And let's research something that we can, just so we're not wasting time. Let's do bullet shooting speed one. But before I do all that, the plan was to increase my power output. So let's get two more steam engines. I should have enough boilers. As you can see, four of the boilers aren't even going right now, so that means I'm the first five are more than enough to supply these five that I have here. Let's add two more, hook them up to the network. There we go. All right. We have plenty of power now, so. Let's see, to make the green science packs, let's go ahead and do another line, or do another series of assemblers. Not right here, let's go down a little more. The stone, I'm not really concerned about, I'm not really worried about stone, so let's, we can build over top of it. Let's see, right, let's see, one, two, three, we got, boom, two, boom, one, two, boom, Boom, one, two, boom, one, two, boom. All right. To make green science packs, we need transport belts and inserters. So transport belts need iron gear wheels and iron plates. All right. So let's see. Our iron plate line could go right in front of these long-handed inserters and just be just fine. But the question is, where will that come out at? I'll be right here, which is good. Good, we're good. All right, let's make some more transport belts. Grab some more iron. Some underground belts just to be just be safe in case we need them. Whoa, what, what happened to all my belts? Oh, I guess they're being used to make the underground belts. If I cancel this, I get them all back. We'll make two more. We'll say needs two things. It needs the iron, so we'll extend this iron line. As a matter of fact, what we'll do is that we'll put it underground. For the most part. Uh, you know, we don't, need to, we don't need to do that. That's not necessary. At least not right now. If later on we need to put something there, we can put it underground. For right now, it's fine. We'll come above right here, we'll come right here, and then come down here. Alright. That's the iron. We need some inserters, long-handed inserters, more inserters. So you're going to make conveyor belts. So we'll have two assemblers making conveyor belts. And those need these gear wheels. So I need some more conveyor belts. I need like that, like that, like that, and like that. You both are going to be making these conveyor belts. Okay. Now, the conveyor belts will come out. I'm thinking. Um, 
above it, maybe? Uh, we'll do it below it. Oops, wrong button. All right. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking. Sorry for my silence. I'm thinking. I just don't want this to be so convoluted and spread out that it takes a long time to get to where it needs to go. So we'll do it. No, we'll do it above. I want to do it above. We'll say long-handed inserter going up. Then we need... All right, it's done. We'll do... What can I do? Let's see. Uh, do I want bullet shooting speed too right now? Why not? Do this. Oops. We'll do that and that. And you're going to be making... Okay, sorry. This is where I messed up. Can't make inserters with the level one assemblers. You need level two. So, level two, let me cancel this research. Cancel, please. How do I cancel research? I need to research uh, automation two, which apparently I didn't notice. I didn't notice you can get that with only red science packs. Sorry about that, guys. So we'll get automation two, which will unlock level two assembling machines, which will allow us to make the inserters. But in the meantime, we can certainly make the prerequisites, which is electronic circuits. Which, which require copper cable, which require copper. So, put this down here, and you both are gonna make copper cable, because why not? It's always nice to have a little extra in the end of the day. And we'll come, hmm. We'll do this. do some more iron. Okay, this. That power everything up. Okay. Electronic circuit needs copper plate and copper. Sorry, copper cable and iron plate. And unfortunately, the iron line is down here. Hmm. Now we can get, uh, I'll do armor crafting too, just because. All right, so the issue right now is a lack of iron because my, my plan is that in order to get this layout to work the way I want it to work, I'm gonna have to split off a, a, an iron, a line of iron going up and up to um, where I'm gonna craft the electronic circuits. So for example, I were to make two assemblers. And I wanted to put them. Let's see, blank, good. Let's see, place, blank, place. Now nah, we'll do one more. Over. And I say you make electronic circuits, and so do you. Then the 
copper cable line is just, it's just fine. That's fine. I can put it in front of it right like that. But the iron line, which is already low on iron as it is, would need a splitter. Which then I would split off a line of iron like this. And then I would do curve around and go under. And I come up a little more. I turn left and then go under again. And I make another underground, which I need more iron. I go underground again, come back up. And then I'd be, I'd come up one more and then to the left. Oops, wrong button. Oh well. Okay. Uh, break these two. That's fine. All right. I get two inserters. Well, I need four actually. So and then again, I need more iron. I might get rid of these two end pieces sooner or later, but for right now I'll leave them just because. So you gotta power everything up. Now we're making those. And then the output, which would be the electronic circuits, which armor's done, would be up here, which would then be going into a series of assembling machines, which I need a lot of iron for. Basically, the moral of the story is I need a lot of iron. And I don't have a lot of iron because if I zoom out and if I run back to my smelteries, you'll see that two of them aren't even going right now because I don't have enough iron coming in to supply those two. That was what I said earlier. I was worried about maybe once this buffer got finished that I wouldn't have enough uh, input to support that. So to, to change that, we'll make two, we use the iron we have now to make two more drills. Come over here. We'll re we will reposition these. Put them over here instead, right on the edge of the iron. Then we'll take a line. Oops. Okay. Power everything up. All right. There we go. Now, theoretically, we should have enough iron coming in. That way, all of our smelters are going at the same time. But just in case we don't, I'll wait till I have more iron and I'll add some more miners as, as they're needed. Grab. Uh, I don't need that right now. Put that back. Okay. How are you doing on coal? There you go. Doing good on heat. Yep. Four of our boilers aren't even going, so we're good on we're good on heat for our boilers. All right. So now we can. I mean, do I? I don't, I don't think I have enough iron to even make. I might have enough to make one. Let's see. Nope. Need 44 iron. Only have 20. All right, well, basically what's gonna happen is that I'll have this line of conveyor belts and this line of circuits coming out. And then I'll have another line of the, fi the finished green science packs coming down and probably going to have them coming underneath this line and then coming, coming underneath it and then coming down parallel to it with long-handed inserters grabbing the green science packs as they come by. But looking at the clock, looks like it's about that time to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching again. Appreciate you guys watching, if you are watching. So, uh, yeah, my name's Ben Oni, and I'll see you next time.